What up, y'all, man? Got a message for y'all, for the men. The ladies listening in, that's fine. Now this is the Raven, 2468. Hey, got my Kufa cap, man. I like it, so I'm going to rock it. Hey, I'm going to draw those in. I've been getting, hey, are you a Hebrew Israelite? Are you this? Nah, I'm just a follower of the Most High. You ever so, had uh, aching in your chest? The uh, music you're listening to right now is Brian Trejo called uh, Perfect Portrait featuring him and Monica Hill. Monica Hill Trejo, let me get that right. Uh, but um, the scripture we're coming from today, before we move into scripture, man, I want to just do what I usually do. Can I, can I, can I be me? Can I, can I do what God has always blessed me with? So I'm going to pray. Father, we come to you right now just thanking you for another day, another day that wasn't promised. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for uh, my family, my friends, and even my enemies, Father God. And for those that are watching, Father God, we just pray over the world, Father God. We pray for those that need uh, a word uh, of healing, Father God. We pray for those that need healing in their bodies. We pray for those that uh, are looking for strength. We just ask for you to step in, Father God, for the Holy Spirit to come in and let there be words that come from my mouth, Father God, that um, my words be words of power, words of authority, and, and words of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today, the uh, the devotional was, uh, you know, taking lead. Uh, when we were on the prayer line this morning, you know, uh, Sister Carol prayed and everybody just came in and prayed and it was just, it was always on time like it always is. And um, we were talking about David and having uh, that strength that David had, that faith that David had uh, to to take dominion, you know, to control, to take the power that the Lord had blessed him with. And, and David was a runt, a small guy. Uh, sorry if the music's too loud. And, I mean, he slayed a giant. You know, he took out a giant and then chopped his head off with the giant's own sword. Nobody else could do that. But David stepped up. First, he took him out with that slingshot. Bow! Got him. Next thing you know, chop head off. King David! Everybody hail King David! <laughs> you know? But, um, that's what we must be just the same, man. We must have that type of power, possess that. The heart of a lion, you know, a lion king of the jungle. Lion don't play no games, you know what I'm saying? When the lion roars, them animals tremble. They, they tremble. But when a lion is quiet, oh my gosh. If the jungle is quiet, the animals are like terrified. They are terrified. And then when he roars, they're like, okay, he done spotted his prey. I hope it ain't me, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, we, we must be just like that, the heart of a lion, man, um, when when we're stepping out in this world and not um, to, 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 you know, kill anybody or anything like that or pull anybody down. We must go back to the beginning where uh, we read from Genesis 1, Chapter 1, verse 24 through 31. And I'm going to just sum it up for you what it says. God said, let the earth produce every animal, each producing a male and a female. So, we have animals here. They produce male and female. Not two males come together to make a female. Not two females come together to make a male. No, it don't work that way. Then he said, then God said, let us make human beings, mankind, in our image and in our likeness. I'm sorry, I'm turning it down. In, in our image and in our likeness. So they will rule over the fish of the sea, the livestock, and all the wild animals on the earth. We were created to rule. We were created to rule. Just as the creator we were created by the creator to be like the creator. Not to be the opposite of him, but to be like the creator. So God created us in his own image. In the image of the creator, we were created male 
and female. Again, male and female. Then God told us, he then blessed and told us to be fruitful and do what? Multiply. <laughs> what is that saying from a baby's kids? We don't die, we multiply. And to fill the earth and govern it accordingly. Govern it accordingly. We're supposed to lead in the right way. We're supposed to be men leading our women in the right way. Leading our families, not leaving them for a mother to take care of a child on her own. Or vice versa. You know, a, a woman leaving a man to take care of the children on their own. We're supposed to be sticking together. But also, we should be asking the creator who created, who he designed for us to be with. And not trying to make the choice on our own. I know brothers and sisters is, is tired of failing. Like, ain't you tired of every time you get on social media or something, you know, you see a couple together next to you, you know, boom, they done broke up. And how you can tell they broke up? Somebody be posting away, just, oh, forget that, you know, blah, 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 this, and, oh, I could do better. I could do better by myself, you know, diary of a mad black woman, you know, like, dang, ain't you tired of getting it wrong? Brothers, ain't you tired of getting it wrong? Ain't y'all tired of just being sick and tired? Like my, uh, like Sister Carol said this morning, is that you gotta think about uh, God as Foghorn Leghorn was when he was on the uh, on that cartoon. What is it, Looney Tunes? When he was talking to the little chick, I think his name was Henry, but he was like, uh, he said, "I say, I say, boy." Right, you gotta think about like uh, God talking to us like that about this uh, world that we live in. I say, I say, boy. Hey, hey, I created you to have dominion over everything. But y'all around here messing it up, boy. How many times I gotta come back and tell y'all again? Time and time again, I gotta. Keep, that's how you talk to that chick all the time, that little big baby chick, like Henry. <laughs> like, boy, I done told you plenty of times. This is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what you were created to do. This, that's what God told us. This is what you were created for. You were created for this, not created for that. Turn away from your wicked ways and come to me, and let me be your supplier. You got the plants of the earth. That's food for you. That's healing in those plants. Fruits to the trees. That's food for you. There's healing in that. But are we using all of that? To be honest, not all the time. No, we're not. Because we're too busy caught up in ways that we were taught. Instead of saying, you know what? I'm going to learn from my choices that I made. You gotta quit calling them mistakes because they're not mistakes. They're choices. We choose what we wanna do. We choose who we wanna listen to and the way that we wanna go in life. We make that choice. But God tells us to make the right choice. God said he has given us every seed bearing plant and trees for food to eat. He even has given us plants and animals to eat to stay healthy also. Hmm. The animals have plants too to stay healthy. And they also have each other. We're all a part of the circle of life. You go back to the beginning. And you see that we're in those times again. We're in the times in the Bible. No. 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 Close the door. <laughs> These kids. But we're in those times. We're in that same time of roaming in the wilderness and going back to the slave mentality. You got to think about it like we're in this now and then they want to open up the, uh, the world again. Are you going to go back to your same lifestyle? Are you going to go back to being a slave? Or are you going to do what the creator created you to do? Men. Are we going to go back to that same lifestyle? Or are we going to do what the Creator created us to do? To lead. To lead in the right way. To lead our wives, our children. To lead other men. So we can change this world. 
with the power that we already possess? When do we step up and take that lead? I know I'm ready. I'm ready to get the brothers together and, and let's do this in the right way, man. Let's teach each other. Each one, teach one, each one, reach one. Then we went to Psalms 39, verse 1 through 4. And I'm going there. Uh, I'm going to go to it. I wrote a lot of stuff down. But then there's other ones that just pop up in your head that you got to go to. And uh, let's see. Psalms, oh, I'm sorry, 139, verses 1 through 4. And it says this. This is the New Living Translation. It says, Oh Lord, you have examined my heart. And know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say before I even say it, Lord. Thus says that was that was that was David, King David. Because he used he would write psalms. Songs if you want to call it poetry. But let's read it in the uh, King James Version. It says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understand my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. We're going to go straight to the message, because some people don't understand the King James Version like that. I do, but hey, iron sharpen iron steel, sharpen steel. And it says this, God investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there. Then up ahead, you're there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. That was David talking to God. Writing songs, poetry, just out there, just freestyling. <laughs> and then we went to Luke uh, chapter 6. And see, that one was just basically what comes out of our heart. You know, what we, what we eat, what we see, what we listen to. It gets into our ear gates, our eye gates. And that's the fruit that we possess. Because it, it's not about what goes in you. It's about what comes out of you. You know what I'm talking about? You know, And you think about that. like as, as young kids, the stuff that we allowed into our ear gates and our uh, eye gates, the stuff our parents allowed. And then we grew up and... We either operated that same way or we didn't do the same thing they do. But some part of us was still connected that it wanted to do the same things that the ones before us did. But we can't do that any longer. We can't do that way any longer. That way has gotten us nowhere. It's, got, well, it's gotten us here to this point. Because why? We took God out of everything, man. We took God out of school. We took God out of our work environment. We took God out of our, out of our homes took God out of everything. They took prayer out of school, took prayer out of work, like all of these things. And now it's like, man, what did we do wrong? Where did we go wrong? Where we went wrong is we started loving ourselves more than we love the creator. We started glorifying ourselves instead of glorifying the one who created us. We started idol worshiping, started glorifying other men and other women putting them on a pedestal instead of recognizing them as being human beings just the same as we are. And and that's where we messed up at, man. That's where we, we really messed up. So I'm going to be doing um, another video a little later on. Uh, this one I'm going to uh, cut short. I got to go get with the kids and got to go finish up with them because they're getting bored. Uh, but I, I will be tuning in later on once the kids are down to sleep. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.